For production of ammunition, China increases its supply of nitrocellulose to Russia. China sharply increased its export of nitrocellulose to Russia. This is a dual-use material that can be used in the production of ammunition, NHK informs. NHK notes that this occurred after the start of the invasion in Ukraine. Journalists analyzed data published by Chinese customs authorities for the year 2015. It turned out that from 2015 to 2021, nitrocellulose exports to Russia were practically non-existent. However, exports sharply increased from May 2022. In 2022, China exported just over 700 tons of nitrocellulose to Russia. In 2023, this volume almost doubled, exceeding 1,300 tons. From January to March of the current year, about 110 tons were exported, the source writes. Moreover, Beijing exports nitrocellulose to other countries as well, but the United States is concerned about China's export of dual-use materials to Russia. Chinese military expert Katsuya Yamamoto from the Japan Sasakawa Peace Foundation believes that if the export of this compound has increased significantly since the launch of full-scale aggression, this can obviously be seen as China's military aid to Russia. Earlier, the Wall Street Journal reported that Russia had increased purchases of nitrocellulose, critically important for the production of artillery ammunition, from enterprises in the USA, Germany and Taiwan. Journalists found that this was happening through a Turkish company. At the same time, other countries are experiencing a shortage of nitrocellulose, which is slowing down the supply of artillery shells to Ukraine. China has surged sales to Russia of machine tools, microelectronics and other technology that Moscow in turn is using to produce missiles, tanks, aircraft and other weaponry for its use in its war against Ukraine, according to a US assessment. Two senior Biden administration officials who discussed the sensitive findings on the condition of anonymity said that in 2023, about 90% of Russia's microelectronics came from China, which Russia has used to make missiles, tanks and aircraft. Nearly 70% of Russia's approximately $900 million in machine tool imports in the last quarter of 2023 came from China. Kremlin is suffering record number of losses as Russian troops make intensive attacks on Ukraine's northeastern Kharkiv city. Russia has been losing more than 1,000 troops every 24 hours for the past two weeks during its attacks on Ukraine's second largest city Kharkiv, according to armed forces of Ukraine official estimates. Death tolls for Kremlin soldiers this week may have been the bloodiest since the start of the war, according to estimates. Kiev military spokesman said that compiled totals of Russian loss estimates are accurate, and Russia's losses are registered only after obtaining compelling evidence such as drone footage. Moscow has claimed its forces have now taken control of two more settlements in the region, Lukyansky and Hlybok, and the village of Robotyne, in the southern Zaporizhia region. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky traveled to the city of Kharkiv on Thursday and said the situation in the northeast is under control after the military managed to partially halt a Russian advance. Last week, Russia announced opening a new front in four direction in northeastern Kharkiv region. The attack launched late last week was the most significant border incursion since the full-scale invasion began. In just two days, Moscow has captured from 100 to 125 square kilometers that include at least seven villages, most of them already depopulated, according to two open-source monitoring analysts.